realized I did not grab my orifice hook and I guess I kind of don't care today. Um, to be perfectly honest, the magnetic flyer head has such a large orifice on it anyway that it's pretty easy to um, just thread your yarn through um, without an orifice hook. So yeah, it's kind of a random little factoid for the day. Um, yeah, yeah, let's see. I'm trying to remember what else we need to talk about today. So, let's see. I want to put it through the opposite side, though. I suppose I have a crochet hook around here somewhere, but again, it's so easy. I do, I just, I really love these magnetic orifices. They are um, pretty darned amazing. And, uh, yeah, I've got my leader pulled through now. Okay, I think I'm all set up so that we can um, fly today because today is spinning and chatting day, but it's also flying day because I have my two um, bobbins full for my golden girls. Um, which was dyed by my friend Heather out at Pearly Shell. I'm excited to see what Tina dyes though. Uh, she's done a little bit of roving and she's going to, um, and she's done a little bit of yarn as well. She's going, she has that on the website. So if you are looking for fun hand dyed yarn, one of a kind luxury skeins, I think they're 80, 20 superwash merino and silk fingering weight. It's up on the website. So go check that out, blacksheepfiberemporium.com. Just saying, it's very pretty. And she's been showing them off in her Friday videos, so don't forget to tune in for her Friday video. What else do I need to tell you about today? Oh, of course, we are still in the year of self-care, so make sure that you are posting your um, photos or videos to the social media of your choice and tagging us with Black Sheep Fiber Emporium or BSFE so we can find you. And um, my, my camera is very far away today so you'll see me get up and down a little bit so I can read comments uh, if I happen to notice somebody. And it looks like, hey Brooke! Um, Brooke's just checking in to say hi. So yeah, um, I am flying today on my Kromsky Sonata with the magnetic flyer head. I have said it before and actually several times already today, I love my magnetic flyer head. I love it. It has completely changed my game with the Sonata. Like I was kind of tempted to sell my Sonata and buy a Magicraft. Like I was this far away from doing it. I was talking to friends. And, um, and I have, I have like a whole newfound love for my Sonata because, because of the flyer head. I mean, that, that's really what it comes down to for me. I, I like spinning so much more with my magnetic flyer head. I like having the bobbin facing towards me so much better than having it face away from me. I just, I just do. It just, I like it a lot better and I can't read anybody's comments. Maybe I should scoot the camera a little bit closer so I can read comments easier. And hi, Angelus. And hey, Bev. And yeah, it was chilly at my house. Um, we had that freeze frost warning last night. We've got a freeze frost warning again tonight. We frantically covered all of the tender sprouts in the garden and the fruit trees and my panties. I don't even know what all else yesterday. And... Um, I did, I brought a bunch of stuff in. I'm mean, oh, such a mess. I hate it when it's these, these like really late spring snows. I mean, it's past our frost date, man. It's so frustrating. Anyway, whatever. It is what it is. Um, it is what it is. So today um, I'm flying. And if you recall, when we spin our singles, we spin our singles all the same direction. And I like to go clockwise, which will look 
wrong to you guys, but I go clockwise. Um, when I spin all of my singles and then I go counterclockwise, so against the clock, when I am flying, oh, excuse me, which you have to do so that you don't put too much twist into your yarn. It's a very important thing. So today I'm all set up to do that. Um, and even though I forgot my Orvis hook, <laughs> I was still able to go ahead and thread my leader through. I have my bobbin set up. I think I have my tension where I need it, um, but I may have to adjust my scotch tension a little bit. I am a fan of scotch tension. I just like it a lot better um, than a double drive. It, it's, it's my thing. It works for me, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, a tip that Heather likes to give out, and I'm going to repeat here, is to make sure that your drive band is... Um, <laughs> not overextended. You want to make sure that um, you kind of have it to the point, just to the point where it's starting to grab and hold on um, and spin smoothly. You can see it spins smoothly, but you don't want to overstretch your drive band. Um, and that does apply to most of your wheels that have these nice stretchy drive bands. Um, even with the cotton or the linen uh, thread ones, you want to be a little bit careful. Um, just, just to the point where it's grabbing consistently, but not overextended. That's the point. Um, anyway, so we're just going to treadle, and I'm going to let a little twist build up. And then I, this one I don't have the leader tied quite, quite right, so I'm going to have to help it. Uh, there we go. Help it to wind on. And I did spin this rather fine, um, so I do need to make sure that I am getting enough twist in it that uh, it's well balanced. That's also an issue. You have to be careful. I'm only two plying this one, um, so I'm looking for a nicely balanced yarn. I don't know exactly what that's going to mean for my treadling. I don't know exactly what that's going to mean yet for um, my feed, but I can see I need a little more twist than that. Like that. But as I get started, I will begin to see. Um, I do tend to spin on my smallest whirls and my smallest ratios. I tend to ply on them as well. Um, it just seems to be what works best for me, but it may not be what works best for you. You have to do what works best for you. Um, I have switched my chair. Uh, I used to have a stool that I sat on up here, but it was giving me some back problems. So now I have my chair. It's much more comfortable for this. I also have a nice squishy chair that I like to spin in in my living room. But this isn't bad. This isn't bad. Um, and this could use just a little more twist than what I'm giving it, so I need to throw just a touch faster. I'm really bad. I don't, like, count my treadles and, you know, I just kind of go by feel. I check it every so often, and if it looks okay, it looks okay. Um, if it doesn't, then sometimes I'll roll my yarn back off my bobbin a little bit. Um, and add a little more twist, or sometimes I'll roll it off and I'll kind of let some of the twist out as well. Sometimes that's what I have to do. Um, do I know what I'm doing with this project? Nope. Did I just spin it because I wanted to spin it? Yes. Uh, I don't claim to be an authority on spinning. I can definitely get you started. I can do all the beginner stuff with you and, and help you out. Um, I can do a little bit of troubleshooting for a few wheels. I don't know all of them. Um, but, and I've got to squeak again because I need to put a little oil on the hinge. I don't know why, but I, have, I always have issues with the hinge on this and I end up having to, uh, I end up having to put a little oil on it. I was trying to use the liquid graphite, but 
this wheel just did, doesn't like the liquid graphite that well. Um, I wish it did, but it doesn't. So anyway, I, I can tell that I did spin this very fine. I did not think that I was spinning it quite this fine when I was, when I was in the midst of things. But um, as it's going through my fingers, my goodness, this is like light fingering heavy lace. It's, there's, oof, yeah. Um, that's all right. I also don't have a lot of tension on my bobbins because as I'm flying, I want them to move somewhat smoothly. I, I put a tiny bit of tension on them using my, um, my fancy um, Lazy Kate. So that's the fancy Lazy Kate that I got. Again, on Heather's recommendation, I. Heather is like kind of my spinning person, Heather and Shannon and Danielle. So when I have questions, I mostly go to them. Um, but that's actually from Alexandra, The Art of Yarn. It's a really nice uh, Lazy Kate. I, I quite like it. Um, I gotta say, probably one of my favorite spins was this Targi that we had from the shop. Um, it was something that Kathy had um, bought a bump of and we ended up with, with some of Kathy's uh, roving to sell and I don't know where she got it but I really liked it. It was a very nice light fluffy happy targy. Um, and here I'm taking out just a tiny bit of vegetable matter that got stuck in my singles. So don't be afraid to stop and start if you need to when you are plying or spinning and adjust things, you can fix slubs, you can take out vegetable matter. It's okay. It's totally fine. Um, yeah, this is definitely going to be light fingering heavy lace. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is very thin. So, anyhow. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna oil my, I'm gonna oil my hinge. This hinge, I'm not liking this hinge. Let's see, so what have I been doing? Um, I finished a super secret knit that I can't show you yet um, that is for Ina and it's really cute. And um, when we get back from our rabbit show this weekend where I'm entering arts and crafts, which is why I can't show it to you, I'll show it to you because it's super cute. Um, I sewed a shirt for her this morning, so I thought it might be fun to do a sewing session if anyone would like to join me for a sewing session on a Monday. I don't know. So I think next Monday we're going to do a chit chat and then maybe the Monday after um, I can show you what I do to make a shirt. You know, it takes, it does take quite a bit of time so I don't know if we can go through the whole thing but um, I can at least, you know, you can hang out with me while I sew, right, for a while. Um, yeah, so I made Ina a super cute shirt this morning. Um, I have been practicing my Mediterranean knotted lace more. Uh, I have been in contact with Elena, so I'm going to attempt to video chat with her next week so that we can set something up. I don't know, would you rather have a live video where we chat with Elena, or would you rather have a pre-recorded video where I just chat with Elena and have her show us fun stuff. She also does these really awesome um, tamari, tamar, tamari balls, embroidered tamari balls, I think is what they're called. Um, and she's been teaching that quite a bit in um, her guild in South Australia. So I said, well, yeah, why don't you show us some of the fun tamari balls too? And um, anyway, I, I don't know. I, I'm kind of looking forward to chit-chatting with her and talking about her projects and what she has going on. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Would you rather have a live video or would you rather that I did a pre-recorded video and asked her questions that you guys provide and, and questions that I think of myself? I don't know. What would be better? I mean, I like doing the lives, but sometimes having pre-recorded videos is nice. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? I haven't, I haven't decided myself. Um, I have to say, the sashiko needle and um, 
or the Sasha Coneagle, however you say it, and my Olympus have been great. Now I do have this stuff that is called um, Thread Magic, which I'm going to try on the Lizbeth because I find that the Lizbeth is just a little twistier than I would like when I am trying to um, make my stitches for the Mediterranean Knotted Lace. Um, the action of, of like using the stitches seems to be causing some uh, extra twist to gather in the thread. So I think I'm going to try the thread magic and see if putting that on there helps my thread to um, stay mm, less twisty. I don't know. I don't know if it'll work or not, but um, that's, that's kind of my thoughts that I'm going to try. So let me see what everybody's been chit-chatting about while I move my... I, I'm moving my hooks because with the magnetic flyer head, it has movable hooks. And I did buy the blue ones because I like blue. So I did. I bought the blue ones. Let's see what everybody's chit-chatting about. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. It's, uh, sweater necklines, man. Yeah. Um, and uh, Tamara, you want me to sew? Well, I can sew. Um, I have been mostly doing... Well, I did make her a cute little apron, so that's a woven. That was a woven fabric. Most of what I do is knit fabrics right now. Um, Tina is the one that does more wovens, and I tend to do more knits at the moment. Um, I've done some quilting and things um, in the last year because of the pandemic. Um, made a ton of pillowcases, and um, I don't even, I don't know. I made a bunch of lap blankets. Those were really fun. The raggy lap blankets. I think I talked about that in a few of the videos. Um, yeah, so I, uh, we can do some sewing. So next Monday we'll do a chit chat and then, uh oh, I'll have a little bump if I don't stop here. I let my, there we go, yarn get away from me and it was trying to make a little, a little coil. Don't want that for this particular yarn. If that's what you want, that's great. It's not what I wanted for mine. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so we'll do a chit chat session next Monday, and then the Monday following, we'll do some sewing. I'll take you downstairs. You can see my sewing area. I think I've taken you there before. Um, but I can show you my table and my cutting mat and my. <laughs> my two sewing machines that are set up plus my serger. I have a third sewing machine as well. It's a Hello Kitty one for when Ina is ready to sew um, because I wanted her to have her own little sewing machine and it was super cute and she loves cats. You know, she's like, I shouldn't say that. My child just loves animals. Like She loves animals. Loves animals. Um, She's not really into baby dolls, which I wasn't either. I'm, I'm an animal lover. I'm not, a, I don't love baby dolls. I don't love babies, really. I like older kids much better. It's much more my, my speed. Um, so every day with Ina is a better day for me because she's just that little bit older. It has been a struggle. I'm not going to lie. It's a struggle. I am not a baby person. So having Ina... And having the little baby has just not been my thing. It's not been my thing. Um, but every day gets a little bit better. And every day is a little bit easier for me. And I'm a little happier. Like today she was happy to watch her Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. While I popped downstairs and I made my shirt for her. And um, I think I've said this before. But I have like an open floor plan kind of thing. So my first floor and my second floor aren't fully closed off. So she can see me when I'm working and I can hear her upstairs. She's very, she's safe. And I was up and down several times to, you know, get water and give her milk and turn Mickey Mouse Clubhouse back on and whatever. Um, this week is going to drive me nuts, I'm going to tell you. And this better fit on my bobbin. It's only a four ounce braid. I always think things like that, and then I make it fit either way. Um, that is the one thing, is that they're only four ounce bobbins, which always seems like it's plenty. Um, it always seems like it's plenty. 
And then it's like, oh, but I just want to spend that little dab more. I had four point, you know, five ounces or whatever in this braid. And one doesn't work as well. But um, I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyway. So yeah, that's the plan. Does anybody have questions about spinning? I can uh, I can stop and check the camera. Otherwise, I'm just I'm just gonna chit chat and we're just gonna spin and talk and it'll be perfectly fine. Um, I'm trying to think. Tina's been doing her uh, like morning coffee with Tina thing. So if you haven't checked those out on YouTube or the Facebook channel, check those out. We are trying to reach a um, hundred subscribers on the YouTube channel so if you feel like subscribing um, go check out the channel and we are I think pulling a, a prize winner once we hit a hundred um, so hey you know go subscribe you can win a prize I think we've got 93 or 94 subscribers right now so we're pretty close to having a prize winner um, and then, of course, make sure you're posting for your April year of self-care as well, because we'll be pulling a prize winner for that in, is today the 21st? Yes, it is. In nine days. Let's get back on track. So in nine days, we need to pull a new winner. I guess 10 days, because technically you have all the way through the, the day of the 30th. Um, So, um, what else have I been doing? I think that's it. I told you about the Secret Ina project, which I'm very excited about. I told you about the shirt that I made. I told you about um, the frost last night and the fact that I had to go like bag all my fruit trees, because we have small fruit trees. Go bag all of my fruit trees and I had to bag and bucket my poor peonies. And I had to go mulch all the garden beds because, of course, I had cauliflower and kale and spinach and lettuce and radishes and beets and I don't even know what all else planted that was actually sprouting. Um, and I had to bring in all of my <laughs> all of my plants that I had hardened off. Um, I had like mm, some extra cauliflower plants and eggplant, tomato, peppers. Uh, onions, leeks, celery, and uh, some flowers that I had started and I had hardened them all off and so they've been outside for two or three nights in a row and they're doing great and then I was like oh my god there's a freeze warning I have to bring everything in so it all came in and is currently in my plant room oh, there was a slub I don't think you can see that very well, but there's a little slob. I didn't do a great job spinning there, and I'm not going to worry about it. It's just going to be what it is. Just whatever, and move on. Anyhow, whatever, and move on. Yeah, I really didn't realize that this was um, spinning quite as finely as it did. I mean, this is kind of my default. That's part of my problem is that this is... I like to spin fine. I like the feeling of it better. I don't really do bulky yarns. I don't really do art yarns, although occasionally I make them, but um, I tend to go for very fine and I've been working on my consistency since I kind of got back into spinning. Um, you know, we've talked about that journey as well. Um, and I really like spinning. It's very soothing. Um, flying, I mean, I like flying because it's kind of mindless, but on the other hand, it's kind of mindless. So I, what I really like to do is if there's a TV show or a movie that I want to watch, then I like to sit down with my spinning wheel and I like to spin or fly because I, I can watch the movie, but my hands are still moving. It also keeps me from eating as much. I tend to like to snack during movies. So this is a way to uh, stop the snack, essentially. Um, but it also means I don't drink as much, so that's a problem. Is, you know, you really gotta be careful and make sure that you're drinking plenty of water when you're crafting. 
I get sucked into things and I forget that I need to be drinking my water and anyhow. It is what it is and it's fine. It's totally fine. All right. I should check and see if anybody else has questions. Not a good time to move my... Do, do, do. Let's see. Uh... Yes, I can chat with you, definitely. You're considering sewing some merino wool knit fabric. Mm, that sounds fun. Yes, I really like my knit fabrics. Um, I've been doing cotton lycra, double brush poly. Um, I think I bought some ITY. Uh, it's the interlock, interlock yarn, I think. ITY, something like that. Um, so I've been sewing a lot of that. I really like... Um, Ellie and Mac has some great patterns and apple tree patterns for pirates and made for mermaids. Those have been the ones that I have um, kind of frequented. Ellie and Mac has become my favorite. I find their patterns um, pretty straightforward. They do um, videos with a lot of them. If you're a newer sewer, it's very helpful, um, which I mean, I, I know how to sew, but I was kind of new to sergers and like garment sewing. So, um, you know, it was definitely a learning curve for me and I've enjoyed it and, and I get great pleasure out of plopping Ina in the uh, t-shirts that I've made her and things. Um, I've made her a few like legging type pants. I have... I have a couple pairs of, of pant patterns to make for myself. I haven't really done, I haven't done them yet. Um, I've been a little bit, uh, not scared, it's just reluctant to deep dive to learn something like that new to me. Um, because it's, it is a learning curve for me. I, like I said, I know some sewing and I know some garment work. I've done some garments in the past. Um, but they were wovens, they weren't knit fabrics, and knit fabric acts differently. I think knit fabric is actually a little more forgiving than what the wovens are. Um, the woven fabrics, I probably understand them better, but they definitely aren't as forgiving. Just have to, uh, that'll have to come back later. Anyway, right now we are spinning and chatting, darn it. It's spin and chat day. So, anyway, and I have had things to do. Always have things to do. Um, I made a batch, I mean, two batches of cookies yesterday actually to take with me to my rabbit show this weekend. I decided that, you know, we were far enough in that I could risk taking cookies. Um, and, of course, my ducks have decided it's time to molt. So, I have no eggs. Like, they have given me no eggs for almost two weeks, and it's been quite a while. I've had no eggs. There's no eggs. Um, so, I decided to call my friend Emily, who's kind of my neighbor. Uh, who also has ducks and chickens, and beg her to bring me a dozen eggs. Uh, so I had enough eggs to make something. I, I have some really old eggs I need to toss in my fridge, but they're from like January. They're definitely not good anymore, so I have to toss those. Um, but I had either given away or used all of my eggs um, from March and the beginning of April before the ducks stopped laying. So yeah, I had to beg, I had to beg for duck eggs. I've been like swimming in duck eggs. I've had too many, too many, too many, too many. And then like right when I actually really needed some, I had none, I had none. So, um, you know, I love the ducks, but uh, <laughs> that wasn't very helpful. So what else have we got going on? Oh, um. We are doing a little STEM experiment thing 
my sister-in-law bought Ina um, like a butterfly habitat thing and it had a voucher where you um, send off and buy caterpillars. So we got five painted lady caterpillars and four of them uh, finished making their chrysalis chrysalises. I don't know what the plural of chrysalis is. Um, in the last two days and the last one is um, trying to make a chrysalis today. So in another like week to 10 days, we should have butterflies. So that's kind of exciting. And then uh, I was talking with friend Heather about, you know, the fact that I had my ducky eggs, but they didn't hatch. And I had like just really bad fertility rates, but I think I was trying to start them too early and my, my ducks just weren't they weren't ready to lay good eggs yet. So anyway, um, yeah, I didn't have any eggs hatch. But um, Heather's going to send me some chicken eggs. So we are going to hatch out some chicken eggs. And um, hopefully I know we'll enjoy the process and then we'll sell on the extra chickies because Heavens knows we don't need lots of chickies around here. Um, but that should be fun. And I actually have, uh, I think May 5th, May 5th, I'm supposed to get my shipment of ducklings. So I went ahead and I ordered, um, I had to order seven. That was the smallest number I could get. So I ordered seven ducklings through the mail because yes, you just order chicks and ducks through the mail. and. The U.S. Postal Service just brings them. I do have to call my post office though um, the week that they're coming because I have a, there's we have a tiny tiny little post office um, where I live, so I have to go drive down into the tiny little post office. But I need to call them and tell them that I am expecting some ducklings um, so that they know. Um, anyway, so we're gonna have seven little ducklings, so you can bet that those are gonna be on one of these videos in May because. Hello, cute little duckies. Of course, of course I'm gonna share that with you. Um, I don't know, maybe we'll throw them next to, next to some yarn and call it good. Anyway, so that's the plan. Um, we're gonna do some chickies and we're gonna do some duckies and, uh, and it'll be fine. It'll be totally fine. And Ina will enjoy it. And we're gonna have butterflies and it's just, it's just all kinds of fun around here. So anyhow. All right, if you guys don't really have any more questions about spinning and or applying, and it's fine if you don't, um, I think we will just, you know, do our closing, and I will see you all next Monday. But again, don't forget that Tina is on um, live Fridays, and she also is doing her almost daily um morning coffee chit chats which you can view uh, either on youtube or uh she'll she does put the link up on facebook as well so you can sort of like start your day have morning coffee with tina if that makes you happy if not that's all right i like to watch tina's little coffee things at night sometimes i have not watched all of them i'm, I'm not gonna lie i haven't watched all of them i've watched some of them um but I've definitely not watched all of them. Uh, but if that's your thing, it's kind of nice that they're there. So let me check the comments. Let's see if anybody wants to chit chat. And let's see. Oh, what are you saying, Bev? Uh, I grew up on a farm. Oh, but you don't like ducks. <laughs> uh, they're messy. Yes. Yeah. So we have Canada geese by our pond. I'm not going to even disagree with that. They are assuredly messy creatures. Um, I really like my ducks though. They, I don't know, the ducks just make me happy. I like to watch them swimming on the pond and I like to watch them dabble and I like how they talk to me and they know my voice and they get all excited when they see the treat jar and, um, you know, and I like the eggs. I do like having my duck eggs and I like baking. Um, 
they actually were not as bad scrambled as I had been told either. So uh, the only thing that the duck eggs have not really been good for are the hard boiled eggs. We tried that. They were, they have too much yolk. I thought they had a lot of white. Turns out they have a ton of yolk in comparison and they just didn't, they don't hard boil well. Um, like by the time the yolk is done, the white's way too rubbery. So that was not my favorite thing. Um, but I do like my ducks and I like having my ducky eggs and Ina gets a huge kick out of them. She loves chasing the duckies around and she likes to feed them treats and anyway, it's just kind of, it's one of those things, it's just a special thing to have animals and um, share that with your friends and family. So anyway. All right, what do I need to tell you? Make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel, that you are following us on our Facebook page, that you have hit that um, follow button on Instagram and TikTok, if that's your flavor of the day. I do post little short videos, a lot of them, to um, our TikTok channel. And it took a little bit of a break, but I'm back doing it almost every day again. So you can find me there. Um, and I do, I do lots of little, you know, just lots of little tutorials. Um, little one minute, here's how to videos. Uh, sometimes I turn them into longer videos and I put them up on YouTube. So sometimes you can find them there as well. Anyhow, don't forget about our year of self-care. Make sure that you are taking your photos or videos and that you are posting them and tagging Black Sheep Fiber Emporium so that we can find your entries. Um, there's not that many people doing it, so the odds of winning something are still pretty good. Uh, what else do I need to tell you? Join me next Monday for just a sit and chat. Uh, if you have any questions about anything that I have taught, or questions about yarn or um, the shop or any of that, you can contact me prior to or ask your questions day of, and we'll be doing um, a video next Monday for that. Make sure that you tune in Friday for Tina's video. And, um, and if I remember next Monday, I will show you the secret knitting project that I worked on frantically and finished um, to take to the Arts and Crafts contest for the National Dutch Show. So, anyhow, that's where I'm headed this weekend. I'm going to the Big Bunny Show. Uh, so is Ina. And when I say the Big Bunny Show, it, it'll be decent. It's not like a huge show, but it's a good size show. So, anyway. Um, until Next Monday, please take care of yourself. Remember to wear your mask, wash your hands, physically distance from people, um, get your vaccination if you can. Uh, what else do I need to say? Just take care of yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, craftually. That's my favorite part, the craftually. And make sure that you are indulging yourself with your favorite craft for at least 15 minutes a day or whatever craft is taught your fancy. It might not, I don't really have a favorite craft anymore. I have like the craft of the week, the craft of the day. It's whatever is making me happiest at that moment. That's why it's so nice to know so many different crafts. And make sure that you are shopping at blacksheetfiberemporium.com. Don't forget that we have free shipping at $85 and above in the U.S. and we also have um, rewards, so you get $5 back for every 100 that you spend on almost everything in the shop. There are very few exclusions. I also need to let you guys know that there is going to be a bit of a um, clean out, clear out clearance event probably next month. We haven't fully set the dates on that yet. Um, but we have some items we are no longer going to carry and we are trying to draw down the inventory uh, so that we can just make our website a little bit tidier. So we have, we are going to have some really good deals, uh, 40, 50, and maybe even 60% off some stuff. So, uh, you know, be watching for that. All of our usual staples will stay around, um, including the Studio Donegal. Um, 
oh, handmaiden, Tina's hand dyed, um, most of our needles and things like that. So anyway, if there's something that you'd like to see us carry, or there's something you'd like to see us teach, don't forget to contact either Tina or I. I'm Kelly, K-E-L-L-I, at blacksheep, A-T-O-R-E-N-C-O.com. That's blacksheepatarinko.com. You can find that on the website. You can also contact me through Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or, well, any place that we have a social media account. Uh, and I will do my best to get back to you um, in a timely manner. That's always my goal. Sometimes that means two or three days. But that, that's my timely manner. I have a lot going on, just like you guys. Anyway, uh, if there's something that you're looking for, give me a shout out and I'll see if we can find it. And until next Monday, do please take care of yourself. All right, pause in my spinning here. And there we go. And I will see you later. Bye.